there everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish and Reviewing Amazon. Really nice uh, gap down on this stock, which was the earnings on Friday. Um, I called an option in this two trades, but if you if you did them, um, you 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 may have gone into the weekend with the with the trades down. In fact, you probably did, depending on the price that you got, meaning that you that you were down in the trades into the weekend, not knowing what would occur, which is very often the case from Friday to Monday, but had a lot of conviction in this, did like it lower, it broke on Monday, beautiful move down, big move down here, nice drop, and then it got down today. I mean, I don't know if anyone was still in these today uh, because I called it out for a week, but I mean, theoretically, you could still be in this, but anyways, I, I do like this lower and uh, I think it's lower and the one one interesting thing that I will say um, I just can't even believe this I mean this closed at 1899.22 and and this is not moving with Apple up I mean I really really like Amazon lower and this is just wow I mean I'm surprised at this but then again not really so this is, this is just, I have a lot of conviction that this is lower. But again, this was very aggressive to call Amazon lower on Friday when Google had earnings too and gapped up on Friday big time and had a big move. And again, the market, going back to Friday, which was the 26th, the market rallied and in fact made new highs. So this was a very, very aggressive call and it worked. You had to have a lot of conviction. It was not cheap. But again, you size yourself accordingly. One contract paid in this, two contracts paid in this, whatever you can afford. You can't take less than a one contract. But anyways, long story short, uh, you can adjust when I call certain things if you think that you want to do it. As long as you get the move into the move, you can do it and just do it out for a, a, lo a longer strike if you wanted to. Because I had called the 1940s and 1930s and you could have done 1900s and the, and the trade would have been positive and it would have cost you less. In fact, what would this have cost? Let me just look that up. Because I, cause I, I know some people didn't do it, and they could have done it. Let me just look that up. But, you know, I, I really thought the best ones was the 1940s and 1930s, which I was right. But let's just see. If you did the 1900s, Just see if this was doable or how cheap. Seven twenty six. I mean, you still you still would have had to spend over a thousand bucks. I mean, you still you still would have had to spend. I mean, if you got it at a decent price between nine hundred and twelve hundred, but I mean, it definitely paid. I mean, it just did so. I mean, I've been trying to get people different options, but again, you can you can do ones on your own, and I think that's the point here because I'm calling them the directional bias when I'm rating the gap, and that's how I'm calling the options trades. I'm saying this is a good gap, and and what what this was just such an amazing you know stock swish call here to call this lower, and call Google higher, and see the market making new highs, and call this lower even still. And it's carried through the weekend for the move. I mean, you know, and this isn't even moving tonight. I mean, this is what I'm saying here. Look at this. This is a 218, and this is not budging one bit. Yeah. Anyways, long story short, nice options calls on Amazon. And this is, you know, a little information for those of you that are on the letter. You can do one out that you can afford if you want to. If you didn't want to spend the money for the higher ones, you can do a strike that is, you know, cheaper. Just make sure you get it into the move, okay? I would still look at the expiration date that I'm looking at, but it definitely paid. Definitely paid and, uh, you know, 
We'll just see where this goes tomorrow with Apple because I'm watching Apple too and it's only five o'clock, so we'll see. Anyways, good luck everyone. If you're interested in signing up for the Gap Options newsletter, it's $59.99 for the whole year. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. You get these calls like an Amazon. Have a great night, everyone.